Hey guys, my name is Patrick Hogan and in this video I'm going to teach you how to avoid spam filters when sending your emails inside Builder or Mailing Boss, so stay tuned. If you are new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button right below this video. This channel is all about improving your online business, whether it's affiliate marketing, email marketing, landing pages, building websites or sales funnels and other elements so you can take your business to the next level. Okay, let's get right into it. So, I'm logging to my mailing boss account, which is an autoresponder of all-in-one digital platform called Builderall. I'm going to show you some changes you should apply in order to avoid hitting spam box in mailing boss. So, first things first, we are going to take a look what is the email we are sending from. In other words, when the client receives our email, what emails is sending that email to them? So in order to check it out, we are going to go to, the, to our account right here and then to company. And here we have our from email address and reply to email address. The most important is this one from email address. Uh, you want to make sure you are using professional email and by that I mean you purchase a domain and you send an email from that domain. Because if you are using uh, Gmail, Yahoo or Outlook, that will most likely land in spam folder. So as you can see, I have this uh, info at backtoenergy.com, which is my domain that I purchased. So this is the first thing you need to check out so you avoid hitting spam box. And now we are going to look uh, into second thing, which is also important. We are going to write here to the list. And then, uh, as you can see, I have my list right here. I'm going to choose this one, for example, and I'm going to hit update. And then on this page, I'm going to hit advanced. And when I scroll down, there are also two emails from email and reply to email. So if you guys do have here like Gmail account, you have to connect your domain first to mailing boss and then change it to your professional email so you don't hit the spam. And after you do that, make sure your reply to is also your professional domain. If you check this out, then you can hit save changes. The next important thing is to check out your campaigns if you are sending emails to your clients also from your professional email address. In order to do that, we go to campaigns and then email regular. On this page, we're just gonna Choose, for example, this one called third mail of tutorial. And then on this right side, I'm going to click this update button. On this page, we are going to go right here and click setup. And on this page, you have to also check out these two emails. Uh, so from email and re reply to email, there should also be professional emails from your domain. If you want to avoid spam filters, when you are sending emails to your clients. So in your account settings, lists and campaigns need to contain your professional email in order to avoiding spam folder in your client's email. Next important thing you need to do is to connect your domain to your mailing boss account. And in order to do that, you go right here to, the, to this menu button and then click domains. In here, you need to make sure that your domain is verified. As you can see, mine is verified. So once you create a domain, you're gonna get DNS text records that you also need to add wherever you bought your domain. So when I click my domain name, this is the text record you need to also copy to your domain wherever you purchase it. And when you come back here, there will be a button that says verify DNS records, then you hit it and you are done. It's pretty simple to do that. And once your sending domain is verified, all future campaigns and emails that you send will have much higher inbox delivery rate. So those are really important things to check out in your mailing boss account in order to avoiding spam folder. Furthermore, Keep in mind that your content in emails also affects the possibility of hitting spam box. 
So for example, words like promotion or free or using lots of question marks, exclamation points or lots of capital letters. So be aware of these things because it can also be marked as spam in some emails. So you need to make sure that your content in your email is really clean and professional. So guys, that is pretty much what you can do in your mailing boss account to avoid spam filters when sending your emails. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys do want to check out the mailing boss or builder role, there's gonna be a seven day free trial. Just go ahead and click the first link in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button right below this video. It helps me know that you like these kind of videos and I can do more of them. Also, if you are new to the channel, be sure to smash that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on the future content. If you guys do have any questions, just go and comment below in the comment section. With that being said, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.